Did you ever lose hope during the whole time you were there? You were there how many years? Six years and three months. And Joe, I, I didn't think we were going to get out alive. What were your first impressions on landing in Vietnam? Well, uh, I, I remember that very, very clearly, Joe. The, the sites that I, that, I, that I saw were United States Air Force and Marine Corps airplanes taxiing and taking off with their combat loads of uh, bombs, rockets, napalm. And I thought to myself, I'm finally here. This is the war zone. This is what you've always wanted. You're here. And what was your daily routine like when you were flying nights? Well, I started flying missions on August the 22nd. I got shot down uh, on November the 22nd. And so if you, if you looked at how many days that is, that's 92 days. And I flew 87 missions. You were taken straight away to the Hanoi Hilton. Yes, I was taken to uh, the uh, Wallow, Wallow Prison. Prison. Right. Yeah. Maison Central. And they trucked you down there. Right. They threw me unceremoniously into the back of a truck, blindfolded, handcuffed, bound hand and foot, and just boom, threw me in the back of a truck. Describe the interrogations that you underwent personally. Uh, well, the first one was the was the real, really the only one. They asked me what my target was, and I could not, under any circumstances, tell them what my target was. The method of that we used for communicating was the was the five by five tap code. Now, the funny thing is, when I was being interrogated on that first day, and I and I was being asked all these questions and I wouldn't give the answers that the guy wanted, and he went out to go get his uh, hooligans to torture me. I'm sitting there by myself, and I'm looking at this table with all these scratches in it, and I look down, and here's the tap code scratched into the table. <laughs> and in the interrogation room. Right in the interrogation room, and it says POW has learned this code. And I'm just, I'm dumbfounded, you know? <laughs> Were you, at any point during your captivity, were you tortured? Well, that, that first day, yes. And one time when I got caught trying to pass a note, I was a little bit too bold, and they caught me, and, uh, and they beat me up on that particular occasion. And they tossed me into a, a, a room, actually, that didn't have a door. I had to, they had to, had to crawl in through a window, and I wound up right next to uh, John Sidney M McCain. What was your reception like from family and friends when you finally got home? <clears throat> my, my hometown was something else. There was a mob out, outside my house. I mean, it, it was, uh, the street was absolutely blocked. It was, you couldn't drive, drive, drive through there. It was just wall-to-wall -wall people all over the place. You said, list of positive lessons learning with them. One of them is never give up. Never give up. That's, that's why the POW survived. They were never, the VC were never going to beat us, no matter what. They, were gonna, they could kill us, but they were never going to beat us.